Is it being recorded? Oh. Video or just sound? video and sound. Kaito and sound. Yep. Hey. Uh, tenakoto, tenakoto, tenakoto kato. Na mihi nui, ki a kato kato. Uh, ki oku uh, nihu fara, uh, ko grant tenakwe. Uh, ki na ko uh, mahi uh, tenakoto, uh, ki na manahuri. Uh, Kia koutou. Uh, nu mai, haere mai, haere mai. Uh, in e mihi ana ki te mana whanua o Ngāti Toa, ke te mihi, ke te mihi, ke te mihi. Ko wai au, uh, ko Aotea te waka, ko Ruhu Pehu te mohonga, ko Whanganui te awa, ko, ko Pongalehu te marae, uh, no te awa kaurangi a uh, hau, uh, ko Craig McCurdy, toko ingoa. Uh, ko te awa, te awa ko au. Te hara a hau, e te tangata ma hai, ki te korero. O ho, e tika ana, ka mihi au, ka mihi au. Kia ora, welcome. Um, welcome to a charity. Uh, so what I just um, said or attempted to say there um, was a, a greeting and an acknowledgement. Um, so first of all, uh, a, a greeting to our host grant. Uh, secondly, um, a greeting to uh, my Assurity colleagues. Uh, and then thirdly and importantly, um, a welcome to our visitors. Uh, I also um, acknowledged uh, our local iwi, Ngāti Toa, um, and I briefly introduced myself um, and the last bit, um, and the reason I keep looking at my notes is, um, is an acknowledgement is the fact that I am learning um, the language. Um, and as such, um, I make mistakes uh, and, and need references. Um, but it's important um, that, we, uh, that we do this, that we have a, a greeting. Norera, tenakoto, tenakoto, tenakoto kato. Many thanks, Craig. Thank you. And, uh, and a very warm welcome. Uh, chatting with Craig earlier, it's always um, very heartwarming to, to have Craig, uh, who, who typically tends to help us with our, with our greetings. And um, uh, we can take a, take a third, out, third out of your cap, Craig, in terms of what we're aiming for. Um, one moment. We will get back online in a sec. Thank you. So as Craig said, uh, I'm Grant Robinson. I'm the general manager of the Assurity Wellington branch. And as such, have a vested interest in the, uh, in the grad program. I'm not gonna to talk too much about the program because we have uh, Russ and Aaron who will, who will brief you a bit more on that. We'll come to more of that in a moment. Just before we get started though, um, the toilets are just the, the, the men's are down to the right on the side of the lifts and the ladies down the far side. Um, of course, the lifts and the stairwell is also where the, on the side of uh, the lifts in the event of an emergency. But before you run down the stairs or jump into a lift, please just pause and we'll give you some direction. Okay, so just follow instructions if you make any event that anything does uh, happen. Um, right, also as a bit of housekeeping, we are going to be using Slido for Q&A. So if I could ask you just to uh, 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 visit slido.com and I'll leave the event code up there for just a moment. Then as we go through the presentations, if you could just note down and capture any questions you may have. Um, and then at the end of the presentations, we'll go through the, any questions that have been raised and we'll do our best to answer those. And I'll say that looking at Aaron and Russ, probably Craig as well. <laughs> yeah. I'm also just uh, speaking of Craig, um, Craig is one of our senior test managers. He's been at the surety 
about the same time as me. So it's got to be somewhere between eight and nine years, Craig. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, what Craig brings uh, is a wealth of experience in all things uh, software testing and quality. And he's been um, a real pivot for us in terms of some of the large programs of work that we've been asked to help customers on, including Inland Revenue. And I think more likely uh, a new client that we just brought on board, um, and that's the Office of the Auditor General. So um, afterwards, uh, and I hope you all stay for a bit of refreshment to mix and mingle some food and, uh, and uh, a juice or a drink. Uh, please feel free to look up anybody who's uh, got an assurity tag on, including Craig. All right, you all okay with the slider? Good. And I'm hoping the people online uh, are good to go as well. So tonight we are gonna hear very briefly from uh, Russ. Uh, Russ is our general manager of uh, test and, uh, and assurance. Uh, and I'll again explain a little bit more in a moment. But Russ, like Craig, brings also uh, many years, many years of, uh, of experience in the software testing, the software quality uh, space. Uh, when Russ started as a youngster, he had flowing locks mm -hmm. and not a line on his face. Mm -hmm. but, uh, there you go. You don't have to look like <laughs> I made some bad life choices. Um, so Russ will tell you a little bit more about the program, what you can expect from it. And so what is the software testing that we're talking about? And hopefully put it in a bit of perspective and give you some context so that you get a better feel for, for what the program is and what the expectations of software testing are. Uh, Russ will be followed by Aaron. Uh, Aaron is our general manager of people and capability. And Aaron's part of the business is, is um, intimately involved in the recruitment and selection uh, process, along with our broader people uh, and capability um, uh, standards and, uh, and goals. So he'll round out what happens once we receive applications and what the path looks like from here. Okay. I'm going to quickly skip through just a little bit about Assurity. I'm sure you've all done your homework. You've all been on the website. Some of you have spoken to mentors and you mentioned Alice, yeah. good on her. Uh, so we'd have a quick fly through, but feel free uh, again to ask any questions after the session and also to do some more of your own research um, about who we are and why we're here. But essentially, Assurity is a uh, uh, locally owned New Zealand organization. We have about 200 consultants and we've been uh, in business since 2005. So we're in that, um, actually hopefully getting through that awkward teenager uh, stage of uh, figuring out who we are. Our goal is all about improving the quality uh, of projects de delivered in and for New Zealand. And that's both in the private sector for businesses that you deal with every day, as well as public sector and government organizations that rely on the work that we do to get those successful outcomes. Um, I am very, very proud to say that, uh, that we are the most prominent uh, locally owned uh, independent testing organization in New Zealand. Um, I'm also very privileged to be part of uh, the Assurity organization. And in my mind, the Assurity uh, work family. As I said, we've got about 200 consultants. We have branches across Auckland, Christchurch and Wellington. Just for the avoidance of doubt, what we're talking about tonight has got a strong Wellington focus for those of you who are from out of town uh, in terms of location and base. Um, and also we'll talk about uh, some of the clients that we've done work for and, uh, and uh, delivered a number of successful projects for. Um, quite a diversity of, of clients. Uh, not on here, but you know, uh, I have sort of fond memories of some work done for Hell's Pizza in terms of the ordering system, uh, but equally organizations like uh, Inland Revenue. Um, and some of you will recognize uh, some of the logos, NZQA perhaps, anybody heard about them or come across them? There we go. We have a team that's been uh, working um, within the NZQA for looking for help here. More than, more than 10 years, I think more like 12 or 14 years. Okay, certainly way before my time. And uh, that's one of the things, again, that we hold dear is those long-term client relationships. That's by the virtue of the people we have um, and the type of work we do and the contribution we make to our clients. 
which has them asking for our people to go back uh, project after project and, um, and transformation after transformation. Um, another thing about Assurity, apart from, you know, there's, there's kind of what we do and how we do it, and you'll hear more about that. But really, for me, the essence of Assurity is, is who we are and why we exist. And that who we are is absolutely um, hinged upon the values that we hold dear. One of the things that I can tell you is that these values were not defined by the leaders of the organization. Okay? They were defined and, 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 and manifested by the people who make up our organization. And it's, you know, it's, it's seldom that you'll see them on the walls anywhere, but you should. And we expect that we see them every day in every interaction, in the way we work, in the way we behave, in our attitudes, in our thinking, um, both amongst each other and for our clients. So in brief, we delight is a core tenet of what we do. And that's both delighting our clients with the work we do for them, but also delighting our people in terms of their experience within Assurity. Challenge, of course, is about, you know, if everything stays the same then, and nothing moves, then, then what progress or growth is there? So we do have to challenge the status quo. We also like to lead, and we lead for our clients and lead our clients through the challenges they face. One of the key things I'd point out is uh, the valuing potential. And the grad program, uh, which we've been running since the inception of, of Assurity, really represents that emphasis on valuing potential. Because by and large, through our grad program, we bring on board and we make a commitment to people who have no previous experience in the industry we're in. Uh, but the reason we select them and the reason that they're successful and become Operators like I don't know, Craig and Daron and Russ and others in the room, Liam, we will get to meet. Uh, I could I could mention everybody, Chris, but I'll probably stop it. <laughs> <laughs> um, is because of the potential that we see and the potential that they demonstrate. So absolutely, we look for people with potential. We look for people with with uh, with, with personality, and we look for people with a passion for what they're committing to and what they're doing. So those are really important ingredients, regardless of whether it's testing analysis or test engineering or any other part of our business, for example, business analysis. Those three ingredients are absolutely core. And finally, but not least, we also have, um, you know, we're an organization of heart. We believe in caring. We, 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 we care for each other. We care for our clients. We care for the community that, that we live in um, and the organizations that we serve. In terms of that we care element, uh, we, uh, a few years ago, Craig, um, you might help me when it was. Oh, right. Seven or eight years ago, we invested in establishing the Assurity Staff Charitable Trust. And it's a way for us to, to give back and make provision for times of need, both for um, organizations at large, but also for our people who may be facing you know, financial or other crises by virtue of illness or some other life event, which, you know, which does happen. And so over time, we've, we've donated about $80,000, um, which has been collected and, and I should say gifted by members of and, and staff of Assurity to various organizations and again, uh, staff members in need. We also are, um, active and, uh, and, and seek out opportunities to give back to, to community in general. Uh, for example, um, Ronald McDonald House, where, uh, where we do the occasional cooking for families of children who are, who are sick and uh, just want that, you know, the comfort of a home cooked meal. Um, and there are others beyond that too. Right, very quickly our services and then I'll hand over to Russ. Now, we've got four key elements to our business. I'm not going to do a deep dive in them. Um, and please don't ask any awkward questions. <laughs> but I'll start with the left and work around. So design innovation is really about are we, you know, our organization designing uh, the products and services that the customers will love that are fit for purpose. Uh, the 
business optimization side is about really understanding the business needs and business drivers. Uh, I think if I skip ahead, we've got a tentative. Not only do we want to build it right, but we want to make sure that our clients we work for are building the right thing. Okay, so build the right thing and build it right is where we play. And so we think about the, the, the business flows, the usability and so on in the business optimization space as well. In terms of organizational enablement, um, continuous learning is essentially education. We have a strong education practice as part of our business. Uh, and again, a differentiator for us in that area is that we have practitioners, people who are skilled at testing or analysis or other delivering the courses as opposed to hiring educators and um, giving them course content. So that's a, you know, that's a very strong differentiator. And actually, I, I can't even tell you what the count of numbers of, of people who have been through our courses and uh, over the years, but we've had quite a big impact on the fabric of New Zealand when it comes to uh, testing, analysis, agile, and so on through our education. The key one here for tonight is in digital delivery. And, uh, and that's all things testing, both from a, from a human-centered um, analysis point of view, but also from a more technical uh, engineering point of view of testing. So things like automation and performance. And that's gonna be the focus of the discussion tonight with Russ. Russ heads this part of our business um, in the assurance testing and assurance space. And, uh, and that is the focus of the grad program that, that we'll be running in January is uh, in the, the firm in the testing, uh, testing quadrant. All right. So on that basis, uh, Russ, I'll um, hand over to you. Thank you, Grant. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. And thanks for coming, everyone. So, hey, look, what I'm hoping just to share with you today is a bit more about surety, a um, bit of an overview about a grab program. Hopefully you can take away a bit more what it means to be a software tester at surety. It is different. It is part of family. It's a different approach. Um, I look back on it and also I would add whether this is a career for you. So please take the opportunity, ask any questions. We're all happy to answer them. Um, one of the things I always go back to, and I have been around Assurity for 13 years now. And one of the key things for me is the family element that Grant mentioned. It is the fact that I can go to lunch with anyone at Assurity. I can go to anyone with a problem and I can go to them and say, hey, I need help. And that's what we do. We help each other. And it's a key element because I remember my time as a graduate, a little bit of a time ago, but I do remember getting sent to Amsterdam for five weeks and, you know, it was daunting. I didn't know if this was a career for me. I didn't know if I warranted or, you know, was worthy of a place in the course. And uh, I had a bit, a bit of wisdom that was shared with me from a uh, instructor early on when I shared my concerns. And he said, the only people who never fail are the people who never do. And I've carried that with me all my life. And so I'd encourage you to ask questions, to challenge yourself, because life is a challenge and it's incredibly rewarding. And I'll just give you an overview of our program and a bit more about what we do as a role of a tester at Assurity. People that we've done it for and some of the career opportunities, a little bit of a what's in it for you, you know, how this can help you on your career in IT. So what is software testing? Well, there's a really, really complex one on the left, and I've not memorized it because I'm not really that interested. Because one of the key things about surety is we place people at the heart of what we do. We're very, very passionate about that. And so one of the key things you do is in software testing is how do we simplify? And so software testing is actually down on the right. It's about making sure that we've built the right thing at the right time, with the right, for the right people, right technology, right processes. It's about making sure we've delivered the right thing for the right outcomes. And that fundamentally is what a tester does at Surety. You know, if I give you, there's plenty of software failures, but my favorite one at the moment was just one that happened in the UK government. Um, so they had a new uh, release that was put out for registering deaths during COVID. And they kind of tested it properly because the first question was, are you the deceased? So you kind of get the idea of why it's really quite important to just, you know, put yourselves in the shoes of the actual user sometimes. And that's um, something we're very passionate about at Surety, that, you know, when you break it down, the technology, the people, the processes, it is all about being human centered. 
you know, and we're very much about how can we put that at the front of what we do. And it's quite an art form, you know, and we're going to enable you to do that and embed that in that. How do I focus on success for my clients? And quite often for us, and Grant referenced it, we are very, very committed right at the core of our company about how we do better things to enable New Zealand. And, and that comes to the forefront because we want to be efficient. We want to save our company's money. And we love doing the big programs that matter for Kiwis. So the GRAB program, a quick overview. I'm just gonna start off by saying the GRAB program is a journey, okay? So it's a two year training program for you. You know, it's not a one and done. You will not rush through quickly. We have a, a five week foundation course and that's about giving you the core skills. But then there's a two year training program. And this is about helping you on your journey to give you that mentoring, that buddy, to make sure you're a success. Uh, as I say, we're very proud of the fact that graduates can talk to anyone. Quite often you'll see the owners of the company, the GMs be walking through. There are no barriers. You're able to raise concerns. You're able to ask for help. Anyone from our people needs, anyone from any walk of life in assurity will always take time to help you. And it's back to our core values if we care. So we'll put that mentoring in. And we'll help you with that foundation. Now it is a five week course foundation. So it starts. We will start to educate <coughs> you on the background of IT because everyone's gonna be at different levels of knowledge. And we'll start to build you up in terms of your knowledge and helping you. And there's two streams. There will be a testing analysis stream and a technical testing stream. So the testing analysis, sorry, the functional testing stream, I should say, that focuses really on understanding the type of testing that the company wants to do and helping you manage doing the analysis, building the test strips and doing the functional testing. The automation is about making fast technical testing frameworks uh, that really allow our customers to make changes quickly, build trust and change. So we'll do that and we'll split for a period of about, I think it's around a week from memory, week to 10 days that we'll split to people. There will be a focus on technical testing, how you code, and there'll be a focus on more deep dive into the analysis skills, interaction with people, etc. So there's a definite two streams, but a large part of it is core. And that is about how we at Surety do things differently. You know, we focus on the what's important for our customer. And I was uh, kind of akin to when you're looking at um, building a house, traditionally, many, many moons ago, you build a house and you'd accept it at the end. Well, now we want to build in checks throughout is the foundation, right? Are the windows the right size? For surety, we pride ourselves in placing the people right at the heart of that. How do we identify the issues as early as possible? How do we focus on success? So we're really going to help you in terms of giving you the techniques, facilitation skills that really enable you to go out there, the confidence to engage with customers, give you the ability to engage, find out what's important to them, and then actually get consultancy is getting your expertise used. Okay. How do we engage with our customers for a better outcome for them? And some of that goes back to the people and life skills. You know, so it's that rounded background, it's the automation, it's the technical skills, it's a full understanding. But it is a two year program and it's built to support you. And there are six month remuneration reviews, just so you're aware. So I know that's been quite a bonus that was called out previously. So I'm going to say the click has decided to. Oh, we are there. So a little bit more about surety. So, you know, we are very passionate about what we do. You'll hear that a lot. And it goes back to our core values. We focus on how we qualify risk. You know, we want to support its mitigation. And a couple of things to me, um, some of our clients that we engage with, we've recently just done one of the biggest IT programs in the Southern Hemisphere in land revenue. Now, no one loves the tax system. But what is really important to Kiwis, once you get to the basis, they collect money and distribute it for the whole of New Zealand. And it's a program we're involved in. It was seven years. It's a billion dollar program. Exceptionally proud as an organization. At one point, we had over 100 people on it. And it was about making a difference for New Zealand. And the fact that we didn't end up at the front page of the news in a disaster like most other IT billion dollar programs gives you a testament to how well it was tested. And the pride that we took making that difference for New Zealand and so we will help you focus on that successful outcome you know we love doing the ones that make a difference we love focusing on how do we find the issues early 
how do we challenge that status quo? Okay. We want to embed our knowledge. We want to take it away from IT driven development and delivery to a place in people at the heart of it and giving you the skills to say, hey, we can do this better. And that's a real focus for us at Surety. So I'm just gonna check here. So the other area we're currently working on just to name drop another customer is WorkSafe. We're hosting the innovation platform. Again, it's that pride that we have of doing something different for them. And that's something that we love doing because at the moment they're going out and they're engaging with um, people in the lumber industry. And it's a crowdsourcing problem solving app. And the idea is you give the problem to the people at the front of the, uh, at the heart of, sorry, at the coalface, who have the best ideas to solve problems. And we love being involved in those ones where we're doing something a bit different for New Zealand, but actually adding benefit to them. So it gives you an idea of where we come from, the challenge, the care, the focus on the success and how we make a difference is the key messages. So this is really quite important, um, the what's in it for me. You know, a career in IT is exceptionally rewarding. Okay? I can only go to my own experiences. I started in the UK and software testing it is a highly desirable skill set. Uh, it's very transferable. IT roles are very transferable. So you're joining a company in an industry of which we are exceptionally proud of. It makes a huge difference, but the world has it in demand. Okay. I was able to very quickly transfer myself and my family back in 2008 to New Zealand because it was on the skill shortage list. I could have gone anywhere in the world. I chose New Zealand, never looked back. I've only been back three or four times in total. I love it here, but it's that ability to move seamlessly as you want. And the great thing is we've seen people from our grad program over the years come. And quite often we'll, the great pride we have is the ones that go away and come back to us because that's the family element. It's the we like working for you so much that we want to come back. And it's that passion. So you know, you're joining a company, you're joining an industry that is growing. You're joining an IT that you know, is going to continue to grow. It's not going anywhere. Your skills are going to be in high demand. Um, I personally started off as a developer. I wasn't a very good developer. I didn't like it. I love finding issues. I love solving problems. So for me, that was my calling in life to move into software testing and then test management. But they're very transferable skills. When you focus on the people in what you do, it enables you to focus on better outcomes. So you've got the world is your oyster, if you like, in terms of IT. You can focus on management, technical expertise, testing expertise, facilitation skills. You know, it really is up to you. You make your own magic after the grad program where you want to go but the foundation is really strong. And I've just flipped to the next side because there are a couple of people here today. And what I love about this is I've worked with them and again, I hope the cliff is not dying. No, we're there. They are around the room today. So please take time to speak to them. And sorry, everyone, if you're online, but I've worked with everyone on this list and I take an immense amount of pride and enjoyment from the times that I've seen them grow from coming in quite fresh faced and actually seeing how they've grown in development. And we've got people who have specialized in technology, the test analysis stream, Maddie's done test management. You know, it really is up to you where you want to go. You know, we're going to give you the foundation. We're going to give you the tools, the encouragement, and actually help you on your way. Cool. So I'm just going to hand over to Aaron now. Give you us. You. Yeah. Tēnā koutou katoa. Welcome. And thank you all for your time. Um, had a really good overview of Assurity from Grant and now about testing um, and the industry and the opportunities that offers and obviously a lovely welcome from Craig, so thank you. Um, so what I'm going to cover very briefly is um, just what we look for in our graduates, so more about the kind of application process and yeah, what we're after and just cover off um, the interview and selection process. Because you've all invested a bit of time with us today, I'll also just take the opportunity to give you a few tips and tricks. Um, having read probably a few thousand applications in my nearly nine years here, um, yeah, I can hopefully give you some insights to give you a leg up. So firstly, what do we look for? This is very high level, um, but the three Ps. Now, if you were paying attention earlier, you might have heard some of these come up. So does anyone want to have a guess 
what the three P's are that we look for. Just one of them. Passion. Passion, yes. Potential. Potential. Personality. Personality, yes. We have a very engaged crowd. Well done. Absolutely. So look, ultimately, these are the, the traits, you know, that are really important to us that we are looking for as we're assessing applicants. And some of these are quite intangible. So I get it's a bit hard to think, well, how do I correlate that to, you know, my CV or my cover letter or uh, maybe the assessment centre process. But what's really important here is that, yeah, you think about maybe what are you passionate about? How can you bring that out in your application um, through your discovery of, you know, is a surety a good fit for you? How can you demonstrate where you uh, have applied yourself to something and shown your potential? So there are lots of opportunities for you to think about this um, in, in terms of yourself versus uh, obviously what we're looking for. In terms of our selection, I think it's always really important to help you understand that selection is two-way. It's very important that yes, we get to know you, we ensure it's a good fit, um, but also for you to get to know us. And so the overarching view of our selection process is certainly designed to give us that um, opportunity to both learn about each other. And uh, tonight is a good example of that. You know, we want to provide opportunities for people to get to know us before they even apply. So there is a, a CV cover letter upload. It's pretty standard. It's on the website. You can find it. Um, we do ask for a cover letter. And specifically what we're asking for is some insight into why assurity and why testing. Now, there's been lots of gold nuggets for you tonight. So if you are interested in applying, you know, that's tip number one. What we're really looking for when we review those is context. So we need you to give us context. You know, why do we stand out as an opportunity versus something else? Or why does it really resonate with you? Um, we review those applications and then we move through to a one-way video platform interview. Um, and for the engineering stream, we also have um, a coding kind of um, assessment that's completed, which is um, done in your own time and submitted. Um, again, the, the idea there is we get to know a bit more about you um, and hopefully it's through a reasonably seamless experience around, you know, you, have, you can do that in your own time, somewhere that's safe, comfortable for you um, and, you know, puts you at ease. We then have an assessment centre process and it's sort of like a day. Um, and again, the design of that is some team activities, um, some peer programming for uh, the engineering stream, and then some presentation and more interviews for the analysis stream. But a, another part of that day is about you getting a bit more of a tour of the office, meeting some more of our graduates, prior grads, um, and just, again, understanding, is this the type of company you want to work for? And finally, we move to offers. Um, in terms of the, the high level dates here, so we are closing off applications on the 26th of this month, which now happens to be a public holiday. So the good news is you'll have a bit of time that day if you do want to do the last minute application. <laughs> Although, you know, our, our preference is always to get them coming in regularly so that we can review them as they come in. So don't wait until the 26th, please. Um, and then look, the office stage, we typically, it is a bit of a journey. It does take a bit of time to work through, um, but we typically get to the office stage by sort of early November. Um, and that just gives people confidence that, you know, they have a role to start for the new year um, when they're graduating. And that start date is sort of end of Jan. I think it's about the 24th. Um, so that's a very high level overview of selection. For the actual, like, what do we look for around degrees and those sorts of things? Analysis stream is very broad. We're typically open to any degree. As Russ um, really said, you know, it's, what's more important is that human-centered mindset, that, um, that approach to delighting customers. Um, and, you know, we teach the rest. Um, the engineering stream does typically require some degree of knowledge around IT and specifically coding, um, because we start to go a lot deeper in that initial five weeks around some of the tools and techniques that are required to build a career in test engineering. Um, and so what we're looking for there is a STEM degree um, with 
I think it's at least um, one programming paper that you will sort of succeeded or excelled in. Um, so those are the, the two criteria, but I guess the good news for the audience is, yeah, there's, regardless of what you've studied, there would be a path for you as part of this program. Um, yeah, as long as you're kind of coming through that tertiary system now. So that's it from me. Um, hopefully we are doing really well on time and Cass is gonna stop the recording and I think we're gonna to move to Q and A. So I will move to the platform and I think Ra